What is up? It's your boy AA here, also known as Toon Link Main. And today in this video, we're gonna do the 2021 slash 2022 NFL season prediction. And yes, tomorrow night will be the first NFL game, home opener between you know the Dallas Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Screw them two teams because those two teams. Everybody hates those two teams to be fair. But anyway, we're gonna go on some predictions with the, both the AFC and the NFC. And who's gonna be our Super Bowl championship. And who's gonna be the worst team. And taking. To be the worst team. To be the worst. And win the Tank Bowl. By the way, this might be a lot similar to uh, the dumpster fire video, which is this video right here that they did last night with uh, five points and urinating tree. But I'm gonna do it a lot different compared to those two. So first up, we got the AFC East, and to be honest about the AFC East. Biggest factor, it'll be Buffalo that wins the AFC East. Cause you know what happened last season, especially in the playoffs last year. They made the playoffs 13-3. And guess what? They made it the conference championship. Lost to Kansas City. It was a good year for them. First playoff wins over 25 years. So yeah, if Josh Allen can still have momentum to like, you know, win MVP and stuff. He will still bring Buffalo into a superiority and both nations will take over the East. Even though Buffalo has a great fan and the thing with Buffalo they really need they really wanted to buy a new stadium by 2027. But we can talk about that later. So yeah, Buffalo might win the AFC East. The AFC North. Yes, the AFC North. We will think about the AFC North. It goes down to two possibilities between Baltimore and Cleveland. Since Cincinnati is pure garbage and trying to destroy Joe Burrow. And the Steelers... No, no, no. The Steelers are still rocking with Ben Roethlisberger and they still don't have an offensive line. So yeah, it's down to two choices between Baltimore and Cleveland, but most people really think of as the last, the last second chance for the AFC North. This might be a tough decision, but I think it's gonna be Cleveland that takes over this AFC North for the first time in their franchise history since the expansion back in 1999. So yeah, that's gonna be good luck for Cleveland for winning that division. I hope they'll be happy this time. The AFC South. Ooh, the AFC South. This is gonna be... This is gonna be interesting for the AFC South. I'm rocking with, with Tennessee. The reason why am I gonna put this... The reason why I put this is because... Due to the fact that the... State's abbreviation with Tennessee is TN instead of 10. But I'm still rocking with the Titans because I added an extra letter for the team name in there. So yeah, I'm still rocking with the Titans. Because you know, they have Ryan Tannehill as the quarterback. Derrick Henry ran 2,000 yards last year. He could do this again this year if, if you know, if the NFC West tried to stop him from getting 2,000 yards. And they got some good receivers like A.J. Brown and Julio Jones that they added this year. So yeah, Titans, you're taking this out. The AFC West. Ooh, the AFC West goes down to two competitions between Kansas City and the Chargers. I think the Chargers could take it, but absolutely not because Kansas City Chiefs is gonna do it, and Patrick Mahomes 
He wants revenge against Tom Brady from last year's Super Bowl. Even though I literally had to put an extra C on it just in case for the chase. Because I'm going like every every initial has to have like three letters. So any team that has two two letters, I'll just add another letter based on the team name. So yeah, but so Kansas City still taking the West. The NFC East, also known as the NFC Least. Oh god, this division was horrible last year. Horrible. Division winners for this year, please just end this horror as they keep doing it and get a back-to-back -back division title. This needs to end it with, of course, Washington football team winning the NFC East since last year on a 7-9 record because you know why they're gonna have them winning the NFC East like the trajectory from last year they may be good because of, they might be good because of the defense you know how, how you see their defense last year they they improved for their defense it all goes down with their quarterback uh, Ryan Fitzmagic I think I carried this team to a division title. The NFC North? It's gotta be Green Bay. It's gotta be Green Bay. I add the P for the for the Packers because even though know I need an extra letter for this. So it makes sense to add an extra extra letter for this. But either way, Green Bay is definitely taking the NFC North. There's no shot for the other three teams in that division to ever win this. Ever win the NFC North. So Green Bay is taking it for the third time since 2019. Well, technically, they're going to do it again. Even though Aaron Rodgers is still in the Packers, I think this might be the last dance. The NFC South. Oh, God. Please kill me already. Because I flipping, flapping, hate Tom Brady. I don't like Tom Brady, but you gotta give it to Tampa Bay. Because of this. Oh my god, everybody hates this man. Just, please, just end. Just end this season already. Because nobody cares about this division. Because of Tom Brady sitting over the NFC South. Because Buccaneers, even though this team has two letters. Another thing, I add the extra B for there for the Buccaneers. But God, please help me. Help me. I don't like this division anymore. And last but not least for the division winner is the NFC West. Also known as the NFC Best. Okay, for the NFC best, this is gonna be a tough one to pick between these three teams. Between the Rams, the 49ers, and the Seahawks. But, I could easily just be like Tom Grossi and just believe his team to win this super division. In this very tough division, I think the Rams are gonna take over this thing. This thing right now. So for the wild cards, for all six of these wild cards, for both the AFC and the NFC. I'm gonna start with the AFC wild card. Then we're gonna go straight to the NFC wild card. So for the first wild card spot, I have Baltimore. And the next wild card spot, this might be. A it depends on either New England or New England, Miami, the Chargers, or Indianapolis, or it's, this is gonna be hard. Like wild card picks in the AFC is much harder than the NFC. I'm I'm rocking with New England right here. I added the extra two for Patriots. Even though my friend likes them, you know? shout out to you and Jordan, but I still hate the Patriots. 
so let me swap let the page for I hate them. And last but not least for this wild card spot for the AFC, this is even more difficult. But I'm rocking with Indianapolis. I'm sorry Chargers fans, Chargers and Dolphins fans, they're not gonna win. And now let's hop on to the NFC wild card. Woo, the NFC wild card. This one's gonna be less complicated than the AFC wild card. So this one is San Francisco that's taking over this one. And the wild card number two will be the Seahawks. And you gotta have the Seahawks to be in the playoff spots. It doesn't matter if it's divisional championship or wild card, they have to make it. And number three, it's the Minnesota Vikings. Reason why I did MND is because they you know. The state cap, uh, the state's abbreviation from Minnesota. Going to my list is MN, which is why Minnesota is just MN for their abbreviation. And I also put the V for the Vikings. So, yeah, that's definitely what I do with this. For the AFC Championship, this is gonna be. Oh boy, this is gonna be hard with the AFC Championship. I would think. Uh, I don't want to pick one of these seven teams. This is gonna be hard. You know what? Rock with Buffalo. Oh wait, why put that uh, thing instead of you? Buffalo might take the AFC Championship and the NFC Championship. I'm being biased. I am extremely a biased team. Would be the Rams for the biased team? Because I was either picking them or Green Bay. Because the Rams and the Packers, they will definitely face each other in the NFC Championship. But the Rams are still going to win that George Hollis trophy. This section that I made up for being the worst team in their conference. So, we got to have, have a worst team for the AFC and the worst team for the NFC. So, the worst team in the AFC Easily is Houston. There's no other teams to be that bad to be Houston. Jacksonville, they get that easily to beat them. Um, the Jets, they can beat them. Uh, the Raiders can beat them. Uh, the Bengals can beat them. They buy to beat them. The Texans. But like, the Texans are so bad because Bill O'Brien just like to butcher the entire roster. They like to butcher the entire roster. Now they hire a coach who doesn't even know how to coach well. And the whole Deshaun Watson situation of his stupid massage thingy. Oh, uh, like touching 22 different women. And for the NFC worst team, it goes down the head to head between Philadelphia and Detroit. But the worst case is, Philadelphia might be the worst team in the NFC team. In the NFC. Cause this, this team is just doing, what is this thing doing? But yeah, Philadelphia is the worst team in the NFC. Congratulations. So yeah, for the Super Bowl championships, I got this. I got this between Buffalo and the Rams. I am extremely biased that the Rams are gonna win the Super Bowl. I don't care, it's their stadium anyway. Their stadium is hosting the Super Bowl. It's them. They should win. Hey man, if Tampa wins their game last year at their stadium, maybe we can do the same. Am I right? The time that they and Matt Stafford finally get a Super Bowl ring? Am I right? I don't know. 
I don't know, we can actually stay the box back. And the final part of this thing right here, which is known as the worst team in the NFL, definitely be Houston. <laughs> There's no other team that could be worse than Houston. God, the Texans are so trash. What is this? Anyone can beat the Texans. I don't care if they don't go against this team this year, but anyone can easily just beat them. Damn. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's gotta be the Texans. I hope you guys enjoy. Do you guys agree with my picks or disagree with this prediction? Let me know in the comments below because unfortunately I am not Shulk and we cannot tell the future because we're not Shulk. We don't have the Monado art. We don't have the power of the Monado to tell the future of our predictions because I hate predictions and these predictions are horrible because I don't know why they are so horrible to think about this. But anyway, this is how prediction works, and I kind of don't like this pick on how do other people notice how to do predictions. Probably this is my pick for the predictions, let me know. Alright, we just ran time in this video, hope you guys enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Vimo, follow me on Visco. Share this video to the whole world, like and subscribe, helps the channel a lot, make sure you click the bell for notification, and shout out to my $10 Patreon, make sure you join my Patreon and my Discord, will be in my Linktree page, and I see you guys later, bye!